morning. Good morning. It's about six o'clock now. Six fifteen, actually. We got up at five and uh, drove down here. It literally took five minutes. It did. We were a lot closer than we thought we were. So we are through the main park entrance. We're into it's Apgar like, Visitor Center. Yep, in, inside of Glacier. Uh, doing some coffee and then we're going to wait for the sun to come up a little bit more because if you look outside, it's, uh, it's dark. Yep. Uh, so it's we'll getting wait, lighter. Wait for the sun to come up a little more and then we'll, uh, we'll hit the, hit the road. We're going to do the road to the sun today. Road to the sun today. Yeah, we're excited about that. So Chris is getting coffee going. Yep, mine's all done. This is Sherry's. Um, yeah. That's what's happening. It's our exciting morning. Well, it's getting a little lighter out. We're going to go to the visitor center. Use the restroom and see what it looks like inside there. Uh, I don't think it's open. Oh, right it's not, huh? Oh, it's only 6.30 in the morning. So we're not going to go to the visitor center. Well, we've got a morning rush where people zipped in to catch like the 6.30 6 shuttle. Yeah. A bunch of hikers, I think. So we figure what we're going to do is we are going to go to Apgar Village, which is just around the corner. Uh, kind of get an idea what's up there while it's not too busy and crowded. And then we're going to start heading uh, on the road to the sun. This is Apgar Village. There was a permit center back there. Wil wilderness. Wilderness permit. Uh -huh. Wilderness permit center. Ice cream and some just, gift shops and yeah, just, such touristy things. Uh, nature center. Apgar Campground and going to the Sun Road is this way. The sun is coming up over oh, there. Though. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Bailey can get in the water there. She could. She could. I mean, now would be the time to do it if we're doing it for her. Because would. Later on this afternoon, it's going to be crazy busy. There's a beach down there. Okay, let's let's park and watch. Okay. The sunrise for a minute. Mm -hmm. All right, Bailey is officially in Lake McDonald here in Glacier National Park. Day, no four. day number four, lake number four. Lake number four. Oh my goodness, what a way to start your adventure. I don't know if we'll be able to continue, but... This is a little rocky and pebbly. Yeah, look, I look, at, look at this view. And it's early, it's only barely seven o'clock. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. Oh, spectacular day. Wow. All right, Bailey, that was for you. That was all for you. Go oh, way out there. It's way out there, Mom. Hey, Bailey. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> it's harder. It's rocky. It's harder to pause. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't get deep at all. Good girl. All right. Well, we're going to drive around the village a little bit more. And then we're going to hit the road to the sun. Day four, lake number four. So far, it's a great adventure for the dog. And for us. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, off we go. We just pulled over just after Sprague Creek Campground. This is Lake McDonald here in Glacier. Look at this water. Look how beautifully clear this water is. Peaceful, beautiful, what a great day. There's the van. This is McDonald Falls. 
parked at the overlook here. Oh, that's spectacular. So beautiful. Another beautiful uh, overlook pull out spot here. This one was not on our map, uh, it's not marked or named. I know. Go all the way back up in there, you can see it coming down. See all the way back up in there? Oh, yeah. I know. Wow, how it rounds out the stone there. Another just little pull off on the side of the road. I try not to get hit as I walk out here. You see all the, there's still some snow up there. Oh my gosh. So massive all around us. Look at that. Heaven's Peak. There. Popular spot. The road makes a complete whoop turnaround. A little, another little parking area up here. There's a little trail off to the side there. Just at the limit. <laughs> oh my God. We're not in a little sedan. So we just jumped out of the van. Uh, here and look at look at this. I don't even know if this is going to translate how steep this is. <laughs> but my you know fear of heights is kicking in. I have to like hold on to the edge here. 
Wow. I know, look at that slide. Look, I mean, isn't that amazing? How gorgeous is that? <laughs> Whoa. 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 You guys probably can hear all the time. From here. <laughs> look at look at behind. Look at the sun on the peaks behind us. Oh my gosh! Yes. Look at that. What a beautiful day. What a day. Hana. It does, yeah, the Radana <laughs> for sure. Yeah, this is the weeping wall. Wow. Yeah, I could see in the spring with major Oh my runoff. gosh, yeah, for sure. The weeping wall over there we just drove past. Arches. Architectural and engineering marvel. Yeah, no kidding. This is Chris freezing her, uh, freezing her Heidi up. On the other side of Logan's Pass, <laughs> coming out of the out of the clouds, 
Yeah. Decide we're socked in. And uh, the ranger yesterday we spoke with was absolutely correct. She said, if you expect to get up to Logan's Pass and find a parking space, you're not going to find one. <clears throat> actually, oh. actually, if we had a little car, there was a couple the, yeah. that were getting snagged up right, really quickly. Yeah. But yeah, it was full. Yeah. A lot of people come up and they do they start their hiking trips from there. They get up pretty early and get up there. Yeah. Oh, look how green those trees are. Wow. And it was 55 degrees at the top. It was 55 right now. Look at this. Look at these waterfalls right Still here. Still is 55 degrees. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Gosh, it's so beautiful. Lunch, oh, that's Lynch oh, Creek. I'm going to pull in here. Oh, it's Lynch Creek. That is beautiful. I am going to pull in here. Okay. This is Lunch Creek. And Bailey can come on this because okay. we, we were told if it's paved, or gravel and not like wilderness back country, she can go. So we're taking her. She gets to sniff around Lunch Creek. Awesome. Apparently you can just walk down the creek there. Wow. This is the other side of the road at Lunch Creek. A series of cascading waterfalls. Beautiful. tunnel. Nice. It's wider than some of the portions of the road. Uh, we pull over here, we're gonna go down and check out, there's a glacier overview uh, walk there. And I saw this tag down here, Sherry did. Came down here, look, this is part of the Continental Divide Trail. Makes sense? Yeah, it makes total sense that this is part of the CDT. Is it just right here? Jackson yeah. Glacier. Glacier there, but I don't think we can actually oh, it's see it. Fogged in, clouded in. A little bit. Well, you never know. Maybe we'll it might, it might clear up. Might, might clear up in a few minutes, or maybe we'll come back through this way tomorrow. There on the peaks. Parking for the trail. Peaks are starting to come out a little bit. All these trees are, you know, from fire damage from several years back. Makes for a good view. It does. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, true. When you think about it, these were all, you know, full trees. Look, we found a sign just for us. Transit parking only. Oh my gosh, perfect. That's us. What are you guys doing? Crossing the road? Ooh. Shuttle driver's gonna run you over. He is. What? <laughs> what kind of bird are you? A dumb one? <laughs> Come on. There we go. What kind of birds are you?
quick stop. St. Mary's Lake. Well, we just came through the other side at St. Mary's. Uh, actually, we're not at St. Mary's yet. Well, the checkpoint. The St. Mary's is a little further down. We came through the point where you need a reservation for. Uh, between here and St. Mary's, you do not need a reservation to drive the road. Uh, there's just the road to the sun checkpoint, checkpoint starts there, reservation necessary. So we're almost out of the park, I should say. Um, yeah, we made it through without any glitch. Traffic wasn't bad at all. No. Um, all the overlooks were available anytime we wanted to pull off. Mm -hmm. um, so the only thing place we couldn't park was Logan's Pass, and we were told that we weren't being able to park up there, uh, and it was fogged in anyway. Yeah. And so it's fine. It didn't yeah. really matter to us either way. So yeah, that's fine. I would, you know, if it was a nice day, it would have it would have been a different story. But with the fog and the clouds and stuff, and that was the only place it was um, really really busy. And bad weather, or I mean, you know, it's clouds. Low visibility was so was we're uh, we stopped and had lunch at uh, the Sun Rising Sun Boat Dock. Rising. So like I mean I know you can't see it on here, but I mean like we're like right just past Rising Sun right around here. So we've got a little ways to go to get to the St. Mary's Visitor Center. We're like we're like right maybe around here, and the actual exit from the park is here. So we're not technically at St. Mary's yet. We're just at the part of the park where you need a reservation to enter the road to the sun. So we're just right. trying to decide what we want to do if we've had enough of the park or we yeah. want to just carry on and move on and we'll see we we're kicking around the idea of camping someplace around here tonight and doing it backwards tomorrow and getting us back to West Glacier uh, it just depends on where we want to go from here if if taking was it highway 28 if, or 89. 89. If taking 89 east is more convenient for us okay. rather than going more going back to West Glacier and having to go south and backtracking here. I think 89 will be easier. It might be. We'll we'll figure it out. So anyway, we'll make a plan. Yeah, that was a great time up there. Beautiful. Yep, absolutely, beautiful. absolutely beautiful. Weather was great. Stunning, stunning views. Yeah, and the road was really cool. I mean, even those tight spaces were really, really cool. Really fun to drive. All right. Okay, we did it. Check. We did. Boom. The road to the sun. We did. Nice. St. Mary Visitor Center. I'm just gonna pull in. We're gonna see if we can get some uh, a cell signal or if they have any Wi-Fi inside or anything like that. And just do a little research. See where we need to be for the night. Or where we want to be for the night. We don't need to be anywhere. We don't need to be anywhere. Historic 1913 um, Ranger Station. Two buildings up here. Uh, we parked just down that path there. They're currently closed. Apparently they uh, they opened them at some point. What is climbing in that window? Uh, it's like a mountain lion? <laughs> mountain lion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Um, Ranger uh. Chauncey Beebe lived at the St. Mary Ranger Station with his wife Eva and two small boys in 1918 and 1919. Many years later, Mrs. Beebe would tell stories of life at the Ranger Station, including a mountain lion in the attic, skunks oh in the root God. cellar, and black bears shredding her laundry as it dried outside the station. Oh my God. Wow. These are neat. Let's see if there's a window we can look in. Yeah, apparently they opened them, uh, Occasionally, no, no windows. These are boarded up. These windows are boarded up. The I'm gonna go see if I can peek in the window over there. Would this have been like a stables or something? Oh shoot! Let's try to get in there and see. Don't know. Not sure. Yeah, I wonder if... No, it's not big enough for stables. Let's look through this window here. Hard for me to see in there. It's a little tall. Huh. Well. 
historic 1913 uh, ranger's station. Wow, look at that view. Yeah. All right, well, that's it for Glacier. We've uh, made our decision, we stopped at St. Mary's, we've made our decision that we're gonna continue on. We're not gonna do the backwards road to the sun tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna go down Highway 89, find a place to sleep for the night and just, just start our way slowly east. We still need to find a place to get an oil change and the 40,000 mile service on the van. Um, getting cell service is kind of key for us to <laughs> make that appointment. Yeah, we gotta get back towards yeah. 090. Yep, so we're gonna, we're gonna head uh, 89, Highway 89? 89. 89. We're going to start heading uh, back towards I-90 and uh, making our way making our way to the East Coast. So, stops along the way with fun things, obviously, but that's this was our, our glacier time. Spent a couple days in the area. Really nice. Definitely we'll come back and uh, do some other things again. Maybe some other hiking trails in the National Forest. Yeah, that'd be fun. It'd be a lot of fun. We saw a through hiker. We did. A CDT. Uh, CDT through hiker. Trying to get his permit so he could make it to Canada. Yeah, he's so close to ending. He's so close, but he's just having trouble stringing the last few permits together that he needs to to get through the park and get up into Canada to end the journey. So, wished him luck. That's that's a hard thing to do.